Parks. Must be a party on fire. Hey, buddy. Hey. Welcome back, YouTubes. Did you get a chance to watch Moto Vlog number 24? Where the asshole almost killed me? Right here. Oh, man. It sucked. But anyway, this is Moto Vlog 25. Let's get going. So we're going to talk about cagers today. Or motor vehicle drivers. Cars, trucks, SUVs. You know, when you're all up in a cage, not exposed on two wheels, you don't care, do you? You know, when you're in a car, you need to pay extra special attention. You have things blocking your view of the road, which is your car. The sides of your windshields, the, the roofs, the doors, the mirrors, the hood. I mean, you got stuff in your way. I have nothing in my way. I have a 180 degree clean view. So that's why it seems that bikers are a little aggressive as opposed to cars. I mean, we can see everything. And I don't know if you've ever ridden a bike, but fellow riders out there, you can confirm this with me. Your reaction time on a motorcycle is a lot better than the reaction time in a car because your view is unrestricted. Now when you're in a car, you gotta pay extra special attention. You gotta like think ahead of where you're going. Think ahead of where you're gonna need to turn, what direction you're gonna go, what lane you need to be in. That dude in the Ford Ranger on number 24 was not paying attention. We were over halfway through the turn lane and he decides to try to come into my lane with no turn signal, no indicator saying, hey, I'm changing lanes until after he was in my lane and I was there. Now, the fisheye makes it look a little different. It doesn't look like I was that close to him. My front wheel was almost in line with his rear wheel. That's how close that was. And luckily I was paying attention, was able to get on my brake and avoid a bad situation. If he would have come over quickly and clipped me, I would have went right into those oncoming cars and probably got my head ran over. That would have been sweet, right? So not only when you're in a cager, do you need to pay attention to the things in front of you more than if you were on a bike because you have to look around those vision restrictions. But you gotta look behind you. Notice I don't have mirrors on my bike. Well, the only way I can check behind me is to do this. That's how I prefer it. One, because I don't want to buy mirrors. My bike came without them, and they're not required in my state. Now, with that said, when I'm in a car, it's easier for me to turn my head, and you do that to double check. But you have mirrors for a reason. If you don't remember anything from driver's ed or driver's training, the driver's handbook, when you were getting your license, let me run through it one more time for you. You're supposed to constantly check mirrors. I like to check my back mirror, check my side mirror, check my far mirror. And about at that frequency. You don't have to turn your head, you just gotta use your eyes. I'd say that when I'm in a cager, when I'm in my car, I pay attention to what's behind me a lot more than I pay attention to what's in front of me. Look for fucking motorcyclists. I don't know how many times people have to say it. It should be engraved in your fucking brain by now. Well, hello, ladies. God, it just gets me so angry talking about drivers that have their fucking eyes closed. If you're gonna have your head so far up your ass you can't see while you drive, either don't get behind the wheel, or let somebody install a window in your goddamn stomach so you can fucking see. Think the crossover will be faster off the line than the utility truck? We'll find out. Yeah, light it up, buddy. Think that shit makes you cool or something? Yeah. So you know what I 
think the difference is between cagers and bikers? When a biker is going to get out and ride, you know, you're making a mental note of, hey, <laughs> this could be my last ride every time you hop on the bike. But you know, a lot of cagers become complacent and they forget that, hey, I'm getting behind the wheel of a multi-ton vehicle and I should probably be the most mentally aware I can of all of my situations. Oh, we wait for the train in silence. So what do you guys think of my advice or my theories in regards to bikers versus cagers and the mentality they have when they're behind the, uh, I guess, operating system of their vehicle? Leave it in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. If you haven't done so yet, go check out some of my other videos, especially Motovlog 24, the beginning, first little segment, is what I refer to in, the, in this one here of the guy in the Ranger almost taking me out. And until next time, everyone ride safe, keep that rubber side down, and this is 402, signing out.